So on this one I'll be installing a Black Widow mid pipe, a K&N high flow air filter and smog block off plates on my Yamaha MT10. So to start it off I'll be removing the fairings then the tank so I can access the air injection system which I'll be removing to install those smog block off plates. So the first thing I'll be replacing is the stock catalytic converter for the Black Widow mid pipe. And now that I have the tank removed, I'll be able to access the O2 sensor on the right hand side, which is up underneath the tank. I'll unplug it and then I'll disconnect the O2 sensors at the stock catalytic converter. Oh, I wish I had my mid pipe the other day when I disconnected all this shit. And I won't be using an exhaust servo with this new mid pipe, so I can get rid of it. Alrighty, now that's disconnected. Let's get this big fuck off catalytic converter off. God, that thing's ugly. So as I'm not using an exhaust servo with that mid pipe, I'm just going to disconnect the wires and keep it plugged in because my bike's gonna throw an error code or a fault code if I disconnect the servo, but I will disconnect those wires as they're not required. Alrighty, so there the cables to the servo disconnected. Now I'm gonna plug the servo back in. Now what I do wanna do is just compare the weight of the stock catalytic converter with the Black Widow mid pipe. And the stock pipe, as you can see, is 5.9 kilos. Whereas the Black Widow mid pipe is 1.1 kilos, and that's a fair bit of a weight saving. So this is the Black Widow mid pipe for the MT10, and it looks like it's really good quality. All the welds look really nice. It's super light and it's uh, extremely affordable compared to the Akropovic or Krapovic, however you say it, mid pipe. It's a massive, massive saving. So the hardware which comes with this mid pipe, it's just some um, exhaust assembly paste, some clamps and some O2 block offs. So after I install the K&N high flow air filter, the smog block off plates and this decap mid pipe, I'll need to get my bike tuned and I'm gonna go with a Woolwich flash tune. So I rang the company that does the tune and they say that you do not run the O2 sensors. So I'll just be putting these O2 bungs into the mid pipe. One thing I will mention is when you do disconnect those O2 sensors, there will be a fault code pop up on your dash, but once you get a flash tune, they can cancel those codes. Tight. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is just apply some acetone to the exhaust as my fingerprints are all over it and I want to get my prints off because when I start the bike up those prints are going to bake onto the stainless steel exhaust.
then there's a breather vent on this side. Alrighty, now we want to take the air scoop off. Just disconnect this sensor here and this should just pop out. And there's two Allen head bolts on each plate. Now the air injection system should just pop up out of there. Just like so. There is one other clip just here. And now that will come out of the way. So I just bought this Smart Moto kit here off eBay and it comes with the smog block off plates and also this little connector here which goes into this clip which I just disconnected and when you plug that in the bike won't read any error codes. These new plates and where the cutout is obviously it goes down like that, so your logo is sitting up. Now you don't want to do them too tight, that they're obviously going to strip the thread, but you do want them nice and tight so there's going to be no air leaks. Now what I'm going to do is just get some compressed air and blow all the dirt out of the way. Now it's time to install the high flow K&N air filter. And you see these three tabs just here. There's three slots in this housing which they line up with. So now that I've got the mid pipe, the air filter and the block off plates installed, I'm going to have to have my bike tuned as it's going to be running extremely lean. So I will have to wait until lockdown's finished before I can take the bike and get it flash tuned.